Tonight on RCV TV, we're going to be taking a look at the Cuboid by Joytech. All right, folks, so here we have the Cuboid 150 watt device. Uh, we're just going to do a little unboxing here, show you what comes included. Here you have your device itself. This is the black one. It also comes in a stainless color and a gray color. Underneath, you've got your warranty card, you've got your user manual as well as a USB cable in this box. All right, folks, this is a dual 18650 device. To install your battery, we've got this door on the bottom, a little clip that just pops up. On the lid, you can see it shows plus and minus. And if you look inside there, it's got a nice positive and negative sign in there as well. So I'll grab a couple 18650 batteries positive end, I look in there, I can see the positive end is this one, positive end down, and this one will be negative end down, right there, and then this door just snaps closed like that. Now when you do put batteries in, it does automatically turn itself on, much like most devices, one, two, three, four, five clicks turns it off, one, two, three, four, five clicks turns it on. So in power mode, there's really only a couple adjustments. It's just really wattage up and down, and you use this little bar down here. And this sucker goes all the way up to 150 watts. It is upgradable to 200 watts. We'll get into that a little more later on in the video. So as well as power mode, this device has quite a few other modes. To get into those other modes, we're going to click this, the fire button, three times, one, two, three. And that power mode flashes. So we can scroll through the different modes. We've got temperature nickel, temperature titanium, temperature stainless steel. We've got TCR mode, which stands for temperature coefficient of resistance. You can uh, set those yourself. That's for if you've got a kind of a crazy setup of, a say, a canthal wire twisted with a nickel co nickel wire it will have a, a, a different temperature coefficient than anything else so you can set that yourself one two three back to power mode so now to show you a couple of the other extra features this has got i've got to install a tank on this guy so i'm going to install a cleto tank for more information on the Aspire Cleto tank, please check out our video on the Cleto. Link will be provided below. So a couple other features. This does have stealth mode. Now to get it to stealth mode, you're going to hold down the fire button and left. And that goes into stealth. Now when you fire it, you've got nothing showing up on your screen. Turn stealth mode off, you're going to do the same thing. Fire button and left stealth off so now you fire it comes back on now there's also a lock feature so say you want to keep it at 79.6 watts for whatever reason hold down left and right at the same time it says key lock now it will still fire but you aren't going to be able to adjust your wattage take that off same thing again left and right at the same time key unlock now we can adjust our wattage. Another cool feature about this device, see where it shows your amperage? You can actually change that to a couple different things. So we're going to one, two, three again. This time we're going to hit the right button. It's going to scroll down to the amp. That's going to be flashing. Now if we hit left, it's going to change to a puff counter or to a time counter. So that'll keep track of how many puffs and time you've actually been puffing on your device for the whole life of the device. 
All right, so one thing I'm going to show you really quickly is how to lock the resistance of your coil when you're in a temperature mode. Now, I'm not going to put a temperature sensing coil in here. I'm going to leave this cantle coil in here, but I can use it to show you how it's done. So one, two, three. I'm going to cycle it over to temperature nickel. Now we're going to go down here to where it says the resistance of the coil. Click at that button and now you've got a lock icon showing that you've locked resistance in at 0.21. That's required anytime you're in any temperature control mode, but once again, we go into much more detail in our temperature control video link provided below. All right, so one last thing to talk about this device is how it charges. It does have pass-through charging, so that means that you can charge and vape at the same time. You would just plug your USB cable as provided in the box. In here, you can plug it into your computer, into your cell phone brick, into your car, whatever, or else you can also take the two batteries out, charge them in an external charger. This USB port is also used to upgrade the firmware. All you do is go to Joytech's website, download the software, plug it in, boom, it only takes a couple minutes. All right, folks, well, that is the cuboid. We're going to take it up top and vape on a little bit and talk a little bit more about it. All right, folks, so there you have it. That's the Cuboid by Joytech. A couple extra points we're going to go over again. It is a 150-watt device, upgradable to 200 watts via the software downloaded on the website. It is a dual 18650 mod. Its resistance range in temperature mode is 0.05 to 1 ohm. In power mode, it is 0.1 ohm to 3.5 ohm. The temperature range in temperature control is 100 to 315 degrees Celsius, 200 to 6600 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's have a vape on it. It's a good vape. All right, folks, thanks for watching. And as always, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, and until next time, make, make smart, smart choices. choices.